Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Born in Maryland on this day, April 1st, in 1807, Robert D. Smith was a free man of color who prospered in antebellum Natchez, achieving social prominence within the black community and professional success in the community as a whole. In 1843, having satisfied the County Board of Police that he was of, quote, good character and honest deportment, he was granted a license by the state legislature to reside permanently in Natchez. Literate and accomplished, Smith became a hackman, which means he operated a for-hire horse and carriage service. By 1849, Smith had established his own livery business and acquired a house lot on Broadway ideally located at the head of the road leading down to Natchez under the hill. The site proved commercially advantageous for Smith to serve the transit and local clientele. Between 1851 and 1858, Smith erected a handsome house for his family with nearby stables that served as a carriage house and paddock for his thriving business, which he operated until his death until 1858. His widow, Ann, continued the business until 1860 when, recognizing the deteriorating conditions for free people of color, she sold the establishment to Jose Bontura, a Portuguese merchant, and moved to Valparaiso, Chile. At one time, the home with its double cast iron galleries served as a house museum for the colonial dames. My name is Jim Coy. My wife Ruthie and I restored the Robert Smith home in 1996, and this is your Natchez History Minute.